Okay, you can begin now. Hi, I'm David Drury. I've been a member since 2007. Mandy, married to Candy, who actually is a better golfer than I am as well. And we live on the number nine fairway. Been associated with private club management for about 30 years and the hospitality industry even longer. I received a degree in hotel management in London, England, and worked in hotels, clubs around Europe, Bermuda, the Bahamas, and here in the U.S. In food and beverage, which is near and dear to everybody's heart, my clubs always broke even or made a profit in many cases. I do have an excellent understanding as to how a club or HOA should operate, having been that long in doing this job. Fiscally responsible is paramount in this business or for the board. A capital project should only be undertaken if the funds are available. Do we have a vision about what the, club, what the club to be? Do we have a strategic plan? Going forward with any projects, the membership needs to be involved, and I, in my mind the, should approve anything that comes up, assuming that it's a large number. In reviewing the financials, the board should always consider revenue growth before expense cutting, which usually means cutting member services, and that is not a good thing. The general manager should be responsible for operations, the board for governance and policy, and should not micromanage the general manager. We hired professional GMs for his or her excuse me, expertise, which for the most part the board does not have. They have their own business knowledge in their own businesses, but our club business is totally different. Since retiring in 2015, I've been contracted by several prestigious clubs and homeowners that fly's making me crazy, <laughs> as management consultant to assist boards and management through operational and financial problems. It's been rewarding to be able to give back to the industry and has been, which has been my life, and as a board member, I would like to continue to do just that. To me, it's imperative that the board is transparent, keep the membership involved, and not make decisions that affect all property owners without their input, again, without their input. The association's number one asset are the property owners, followed by the employees and then the facilities. Mission Lakes is at a crossroads. We have an aging membership, but we also have younger families moving into the community. And for the long-term health of our association, we must welcome these families into the club as we should welcome them, have a welcome committee or something similar to facilitate to get them involved. The goal of the board should be as a conduit between the members, management, and the employees to enjoy our lifestyle and be proud citizens of our community. Our club has been through some, some trying times of late. We need to get everybody, everybody on the boards involved, work with the committees, and help make our club fun again. We fell off drastically lately. Not all ideas will work, but the, to be successful, many of them will. If elected, I will work for you, my fellow members. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, I don't know if I can get that fly. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I can. It's persistent. It was. Okay. It flies on me. I'm going to repeat the question twice. Question number one, please describe your understanding of the difference between the service of your constituency and any personal agenda. Please describe your understanding of the difference between the service of your constituency and any personal agenda. Well, as I previously mentioned, you should not have a personal agenda if you're a board member. You're here to serve the constituency. You're here to serve all members of the club and the community. And that basically sums that up. Thank you, David. The second question, what is your most comfortable avenue of communication to make yourself available to understand the needs of members? What is your most comfortable avenue of communication to make yourself available to understand the needs of the members? Spe I, most com the, to me, the best way is personal, one-on-one, -on -one, or to speak to the person directly, or as a group. Um, emails, it gets it's too impersonal. Texting is way too impersonal. It has to be one-on-one. -on -one. It has to be face-to-face. -face. Thank you, David. 